shaking and baking out to everybody. Hey, Gary. Hey, Bobby, Bobby. Everybody, welcome to the show tonight. We got well, some things going on. So what's going on with you and uh, Chris? How much? Another day in paradise in Florida. Hot, <laughs> hot, hot steamy, today? hot, steamy paradise. How hot is it today? <laughs> Uh, it's it's miserable. I don't know. Too hot. That's what. That's all I know. It's just too hot. <laughs> you walk outside, you're like, it's too hot. Go back inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Broadcasting here from Northern Kentucky. Yeah. So Stanley Stone says I can play my harmonica to this. I'll bring it out. <laughs> so as long as you don't bring out the banjo, I'm okay. <laughs> so any good news? So Mike's still in Florida, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's he still around my, on, is he on his he's, way or? He's on vacation. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, he's supposed to be here somewhere. Yeah. He's visiting his cute little new grandson and family. Probably That's running around Disney World, Mickey Mouse Land. Oh, nice. Nice. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Anthony Lewis, to the show. So, uh, what do we got going on tonight? Well, uh, we got uh, Marty coming on. Anna Boss, and um, she's a podcaster, big Bigfoot fan, um, and should have a good time. Yeah. We'll let her talk a little bit about herself. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring her on, the Nana Boss. Welcome to the show. How you doing there? Welcome, welcome. Hi. Welcome. Amazing. So Thanks introduce yourself. Me. Tell us all about you. What's there to know? I don't know. I mean... I like all kinds of weird stuff. Same. I like <laughs> ghosts and haunted dolls and, you know, oh, Lord. UFOs <laughs> and Bigfoot and Dogman and you name it. We got you in the cryptids. Hi, Gary. Gary's my number one fan. Oh, um, nice. He okay. is. Um, <laughs> what got me into cryptids? I had a sighting back in 1986. It was a nighttime sighting. It was um, on one of the levees out in the uh, out in the Everglades, and it, I, I, you know, I talked to so many different people, right? And it seems like there's two camps a little bit, right? You you have this thing that happens to you, and you have a sighting or you have an experience. And it seems to do one of two things. You either go down a path where you don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it. You, you're, you're like, you're traumatized. You, you just want to forget all about it. Or you choose the other path and you're like, I got to know what this is about. And I went down the road of, I got to know what this is about. You went down the rabbit hole. You went down the <laughs> rabbit hole. Went down the rabbit hole, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, when my kids were small, you know, all I could really do is just watch everything I could get my hands on, you know, ancient aliens and finding Bigfoot and all these types of shows. Um, but I got seriously into it about two and a half, almost like three years ago, I guess, almost three years ago. Yeah. So, What was the first enc- the encounter? You said you had a sighting. Can you tell us about that? I want to hear about that. Yeah, it was really strange. We were we were actually out there, you know, it was before I had my kids and 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 my uh my kids' father, like at that time, we were he was into like a lot of like, you know, he was like basically he was like the Steve Irwin of South Florida. Like, you know, he nothing phased him. But we used to go out on the levees and we used to because the snakes would crawl up onto the levees to get warm, you know, during kind of like the winter months. And we would go out there looking for snakes and, and we're driving down this levee and it's, you know, it's like a, it's kind of like a logging road. I mean, it's one, there's only enough space for one car. You can't, you know, it's like, it's straight, flat, goes all the way out on, it dips down on this side, down, you know, down, and then on the other side. So there's no room for you to go anywhere, but that, you know, go to the very end, turn around, there'll be enough room to turn around and then come back. And we were heading out and I'd say we were about halfway down the, down the levee. And I just out of the, like, 
off to the side. Just it at first I really it was really strange because I, I still to this day can't quite explain the movement that it made because it came up on all fours at first, came kind of climbing up on all fours. So at first I thought, and I, it was just jet black. All I saw was black and something coming up, like up climbing up. So when I saw it, it was just this, I, you know, you, your mind wants to put what you're seeing into a box, into something that you, you un, can understand. Right. And we can only, we only understand what, what we've already experienced out of life. Right. So you or seen, yeah. Like, a, yes, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like put it in. I'm I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait. Is that a panther? No, way too big for a panther. Is that a bear? Wait, no. Where we're at, there are no black bears. What else could this be? So it's like you're you're quickly going through that, and and it just kind of it, it 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 crawled up on all fours, but then as it got to the edge of the road, it like started to transition to standing up. So. It, took a step. It was this very strange transition from all fours to just like, like it took a step and then was like standing up halfway, one foot in the middle of the road. And then it turned and looked at us and then took the other step and was down. But when it turned and looked at us, it, it had red eyes and it was, it wasn't like it was eye shine. It was illuminated from inside out you know it wasn't eye shine i know what eye shine mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and i just couldn't and 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 we you know i i i screamed and i'm like what like what was that you know and he's like i don't know and i'm like put it in reverse because you know he's like well i gotta go down and turn around i go no you don't put it in reverse <laughs> back it up <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that was it. You know, I had no idea, but it was just all black and it had the shape of like a patty, you know, that big, bulky uh -huh. patty look, you know? Um, and I did it look at you. Did it look at you and your, at your, as your husband or your boyfriend or whatever? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. I mean, it looked directly at us. It just turned like it took a step, looked at us. Oh. We saw the eyes like red. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is, I don't mm -hmm. know what the heck that is. Like it didn't, I knew, and it was weird because in the moment I knew what it was, but it still took me years to actually admit what it was to myself. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. It was wow. weird. It was a very strange encounter. Wow. That's great. That's you, you almost want to suppress it and forget about it, huh? At first, I wonder if a lot of people do that. Yeah, I definitely did because. Cause down here, it was always like, yeah, you know, you gotta watch out for that skunk ape. So it was kind of very jokey, you know, down here. It was very jokey. No one really kind of ever took that serious or at least I didn't think so. Now that I've done so much research on all of the reports that are down here, it blows my mind. I mean, you know, we even had, a, you know, a state representative tried to get, you know, legislature to, to push, a, you know, two different house bills, um, you know, for their protection to protect them. So, and it was in the early seventies, it was like in 72, 72 yeah. and 73. Wow. So mm -hmm. They knew they were here. The government knows, you know, they know the state knows everybody, you know, everybody knows they're here, but nobody really wants to believe it. Like mm -hmm. if well, I, it's in the Florida fish and wildlife um, regulations, mm -hmm. that's illegal to hunt or, I guess disturb them. I don't mm -hmm. know. That's well, the interesting the interesting thing about that is that pamphlet that that you're referring to, Chris. That pamphlet is only for the Lower Suwannee area. Now that area is is a national is a national um, forest, right? Mm -hmm. So it's actually governed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. So it's actually the government, the federal government who put that in there. Wow. If you look at some of the other areas like Ocala, you know, like Ocala National Forest, for some reason it's not in there, but it's definitely not in any of the state, the state, you know, like the state parks or any of that. Mm -hmm. 
So it is the federal government who's actually admitting, hey, you're not allowed to take any skunk apes or you're going to get in big trouble. Wow. That's, that's kind of reminds me of the uh, military training like pamphlets they have and they're like this area, this region has these dan dangerous animals and insects and oh yeah mm -hmm. by the way bigfoot mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we've, uh, we've actually seen those yeah and i i spoke to uh a, an fwc officer about i'd say four months ago maybe about four months ago and i talked to him and we had a really long conversation and in this conversation, uh, I I asked him. I'm like, hey, hi, Dina. Um, I'm like, hey, do you have you ever had any reports? Have you taken any reports? Have you ever gotten any calls? And he's like, I only had one call. Was a gentleman saying it was in the middle of the night? A gentleman said that something was trying to touch him through his tent and making like huffing noises outside. And I'm like, okay, so did you like? you went there and he's like, Oh, I went there and I didn't see anything. I'm like, you didn't see Prince hygiene. I'm like, you didn't see Prince. You didn't see. And he's like, Nope, I saw absolutely no evidence. He said, I waited for the gentleman to pack up his stuff and I escorted him out. And that was it. I said, how long have you been doing this? He says about seven and a half years. So I said, in seven and a half years, that's the only time you ever, ever got a phone call. And he's like, yep, that was it. And I said, well, what about it being in the, the pamphlet for the lower Swanee area? And he says, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, I said, it's right there in the pamphlet. And he goes, what is, I said, it says that you're not allowed to take skunk apes or swamp apes. And he said, it does. I said, yes. I said, look under the hogs section. And he goes, but that's my area. I would know about that. And I said, well, it might be your area, but you're not informed. For sure. And he just was like, huh. <laughs> yeah. huh. Cause at first he thought it was kooky, you know, he thought it was nuts, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I saw a copy of it at the uh, Bigfoot conference in Ocala. Somebody was carrying it around. I was like, holy cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I keep a I keep a copy on my desktop. <laughs> Marty cool. Brian uh, Barber had asked, um, "Do you have any idea how big it uh, what you saw was? How tall it was?" Uh, definitely, like between eight eight and a half feet. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I did have a daytime sighting. That one was completely different. Totally oh. different. Totally different. It was auburn color hair. It was very light gray, kind of ashy skin. Um, and what I saw that day, I mean, it looked, it looked human to me. It just looked like a human with a round head. It didn't have a conical head. It didn't have that. It had the basketball kind of lean about seven, seven and a half feet. Like it wasn't, it wasn't patty looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it really took me but kind of by surprise, but at the same time, I was so calm about it. It was like almost very spiritual. It was a, a very strange moment. It was almost like, because I, when I looked and I saw him, I was like, and I say him only because I, it was like a feeling I got that it was a him and that it was a juvenile. Um, but when I saw him and, and we kind of locked eyes, it was kind of like we locked eyes like one, two, three, four. And then like a periscope, he just went straight down. Wow. And I'm like, where did he go? You know, and I'm like, it just it was a very but it was calm. It wasn't like I wasn't startled. I wasn't afraid. I didn't not, you know, I'm not I'm not not to say that people don't have scary encounters or terrifying encounters because those do happen. But that particular encounter for me wasn't that way. You probably feel the energy off of it. Yeah, for sure. Interesting. Where was that mm -hmm. uh, sighting? That is also, it was in Big Cypress. Okay. It was in Big Cypress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right by the Everglades. That's part of the Everglades, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So did he have, um, 
uh, hair on his face or I know you said that he had like a ashy skin, but like tan or gray, yeah. but. Okay. So this is another weird thing. This is okay. So at the conference, at the conference, there is a guy, Mark Muncy, who he writes books like they're called Erie, Florida. And they're oh, like, yeah. like, you know, okay. So you know, who I'm, I'm, about. I'm familiar with him. Yeah. Okay. So his wife is an artist. Like this is one of hers as well. This one. Wow. So his vendor booth, I saw him in Gatlinburg and I went by and I, I was like talking to him. I'm like, it's so good to see you. Da, da, da. And I was going through his, like the, the, little like sketches that his wife had done they were for sale and i'm thumbing through it and i came across this one and i said i said is i was like wait a minute i'm like are 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 these done just like her you know is this like her imagination that she draws these from or are these like sightings like people's sightings eyewitness sightings that they describe and he goes oh yeah they're most of them are from from witnesses and i and i'm like that's crazy. I was like, this one looks exactly like what I saw. Wow. And he goes, and so I turn it around and I show it to him and he goes, Oh, he goes, that's Dave Sheely's. Oh my gosh. Wow. Which is in Ochapi, Florida, which is on what Chris, 30 miles away from where I had yeah, my if that, if that, so, wow. if that, yeah. I think it's and like when I saw this right face, so when you see his face, yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, is it? Wow. I can sorry. see it. Can you? No, can we, you guys? Yeah. Right there. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And this is the body type that he had. It was the same body type. Wow. And did he have the? You could see the ear. Or do, I don't know yes. if you remember. Wow. Wow. That's cool. This is exactly what I saw. That's like, oh. I flipped out. I was like, Mark, Oh my God, Mark, I gotta tell you, like, it was, I lost yeah. it. I lost my, I lost it. I was like, Oh my God. Like, this is like, like it was crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. That's cool. Like a flashback. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But it was a good, but it was a good, like, it was good and it was validation and it was like, yeah, like this. Wow. Cause I had no idea that it was his, you know? I had no clue. And I was like, oh, no, that is awesome. really cool. Yeah. I got to find the picture of the one that Mike did the same thing. He found somebody had a an AI one that was generated and, and he shared it with us as a group. He's like, that's what I saw. That, wow. that right there. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, did either of you see that um, it's floating around? It's supposedly a, um, like a trail cam picture, I think. And it, what I saw was, um, I mean, presumably a Bigfoot because it's, that's just, or a skunk, skunk ape or, you know, it's in Florida. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know where though. I don't remember where, but, and it looked to me like it was holding a baby, like it, like it had it like up like this and it was in front of a, a log. Did you see that? Yes. I see. Do you think that that is real or fake? Fake? Okay, darn it. Because because <laughs> one of the things, <laughs> whatever, but one of the things that people were saying was that, oh, you know, that's definitely, look at the ears. They don't have ears mm -hmm. like that. And so you're saying, so you're, so you're, what you saw, what your, the ears were not like that on no. this thing. Okay. It, here, uh, here, here's what, okay. <laughs> I got to tread lightly. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Here's what I'll say. Okay. If anyone isn't sure about photos such as these, mm -hmm. ask questions. Mm -hmm. Num any, I, I mean, when you look at that photo and I challenge anyone here, anyone who sees this right now, anybody in the chat, any, I challenge you to go to that photo and look at that photo and interesting to me and very telling to me, everything in that photo is in focus in front of the subject, behind the subject, on each side of the subject, above it, below it, all around it is all in focus except the subject. How does that happen? It's a good question. Well, just devil, I, I don't have an opinion. 
but just playing <laughs> an advocate, okay? What mm -hmm. if it is, is it because the animal was in motion and the, as the, I mean, that could be, or not, I mean, I'm, I'm just, again, devil's advocate. I don't have an opinion. I, yeah. I mean, listen, all I know is, I don't, yeah. I, I don't give any credence to, to things like not, I, I don't, I personally don't. I'm very, very skeptical of photographs these days. I'm, I'm skeptical yeah. of like everything I want. I want to ask questions and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. when I see somebody post something in my group or my Facebook page or wherever I ask questions, I ask them where, who took the photo? Where was it taken? What kind of camera did they use? What kind of, you know, was this, was it daylight? Was this, did you, did you lighten up the picture? Did you change the picture? Mm -hmm. Have you edited the picture? Have you edited sure. the video? Mm -hmm. Because if you start asking questions and you get no answers and you hear nothing but crickets, mm -hmm. that tells you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. And that's just my kind of rule of thumb. I mean, I ask a lot of questions. I mean, I do because I want to know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And if somebody can't tell me kind of like the context mm -hmm. of the picture, like, yes. hey, we were hiking mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we looked over and mm -hmm. something yeah. ran by us holding something in its hands. Like, right. Okay. All right, I'll I'll take that. Let's let's ask a little more. Okay, so what did you catch it on? What did you, were you video? Was it is this a still shot from a video? Is it like I want I want to I want to hear that. I want to hear the story. I want to hear how you got this footage. I want to hear how this came about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just me. It's how my mind works. Mm -hmm. I sure. And if I ask questions and I get no answers. Because a lot of times, most of these things are repurposed over and over and over and over again. If you do an image search, a lot of them will come up and you'll see, oh, some of this person posted it on TikTok yesterday, but oh, wow, hold on. This was actually a thing about five years ago. Mm -hmm. Somebody found it online and is now repurposing it and trying to get it back into circulation. That happens a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah with audio too which is really yes. hey, hey grizzly share my screen and here this is the picture that mike said he uh said looks just like that oh yeah yeah wow yeah now that is different and you can see the man kind of look and you know when you mm -hmm. hear hunters looking in to possibly shoot and then they change their mind because it didn't feel right it almost felt like human Right. Or, you know, you, you get that kind of, yeah, I see, I see where they're coming from. If that's the yeah. case, yeah. I haven't seen one, yeah. so I can't say it, but yeah. yeah. Wow. I, thought that yeah, was cool. I can, and we were talking about that, that night, the first night that, that Chris said, and I said, like, you could just see like stick a ball cap on him and, you know, oh, yeah. you can see him like any guy at a, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. from for sure. Ball for sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but Brian had asked, I think it was Brian, um, did you, the, the, I wish we had that, could get that, I don't know where that, where we would even find that picture. Um, have you seen any, I believe he said, what did he say? Have you seen any animals that that resembles? Is that what he had said? I'm sorry, Brian, I'm trying to find it. Where, um, Talking, is he talking about going back to that, that photo? The one that I, with the ears, I believe that's what I, yeah, I believe that's the one. It says, does that animal in the photo resemble anything yeah. you have seen? No. Okay. And I've been in the woods down here. I, like I said, I'm as old as dirt. So I've been around. I've seen a lot, done a lot, you know, hunt, fish, camp, the whole thing. Yeah. I, have Honestly, it just, I don't know what that is, but I just find it very suspicious. I'll just say that. And then um, we've talked about, you know, it's a, sh it's a shame that there are people that mm -hmm. hoax and now with AI, it makes it worse. so much easier. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. easier. Yep. Um, so, 
anyway. Mm -hmm. Get it, yeah. yeah. You almost have to know the source anymore. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what, but that's where I, that's why I mm -hmm. constantly ask who's, who took the photo? Who, whose photo is this? Is this, I asked the poster, like, is this mm -hmm. your photo? Is this, yeah. did you, where did you get this photo? Like, I mean, if it's legit, why can't you say where you got the photo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Say, I don't know where it came from. Somebody sent it to me by email. Oh, um, I mean, say something, say something. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gary, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, I flat rock is he in here. I love flat rock. He's like in my, he's so do you have any, have any other sightings at all? Like, um, I know you, you kind of go out to an area once in a while. Yeah. Get experiences. Experiences. I've not had any other face-to-face -face sightings. Those were my only like two instances where I've had, where I saw something really weird. Um, but, the, but there is a place that, that we do like to go to. And we, we had a, a, we had a rock throwing incident that happened and it was, it was intense. It was intense. This particular area, you can't be in after after dusk. You have to be out by dusk. And we don't generally take, I know this is gonna sound crazy to a lot of people. We don't generally take cameras or um, we, do, we sometimes will take audio. We'll maybe get some audio sometimes, but we don't generally, it's almost like we kind of have like a little understanding Oh no, is that my internet? Oh, this is the this is the one that we were talking about. The mm -hmm. um yeah. You see Everybody how everything see yeah. Isn't that the one that somebody says there's tennis is. shoes at the bottom? Supposedly, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it and it's hard to yeah, I mean it kind of does look like you know. Yeah. But. but you see how literally everything else in that picture is perfectly in focus. Mm-hmm. Was there a it's moving um, right? uh, below it? Is there oh, like an enhanced? Okay, oh, yeah, mm. yeah. Well, it's um, <laughs> it's like a hard lot to tell, things. yeah, mm -hmm. and if you don't, if you don't have answers, it's. That's the thing. There, there hasn't been anybody that yeah. I am aware of that has come out and said, you know, yeah, this is what this is. Except for the, um, yeah, what was it? Something about a trail cam, and, and it's always that's what always, you know, <laughs> it's up from a trail cam. <laughs> well, well, show the picture with and without it, then. Yeah. Well, the, I believe Flat Rock is talking about. Flat Rock, are you talking about the pictures that I have that I showed on my channel, or is he talking about that picture? I don't know if he was talking about that. Wait, let's see. I wasn't sure. Um, I don't know. It just, I, I if you don't get answers. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, sure. It's kind of like all hearsay anymore, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I have some photos. I have some photos that I share, and I did a, I did a show some, I don't know, last year sometime. Oh, he's. I'm sorry. He just said your pics, Marty. Your, he's picks. your picture. Yeah. My you, okay. You took. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. The story. Okay. This the picture. All right. The pictures they're talking about. The day that I had my daytime sighting. Okay. Right after he kind of like, like just went straight down and disappeared. I had, I had my camera on a, like I had it on a gimbal and it, and, and it's, it also has like a telescope, like, you know, um, selfie stick kind of looking thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I just really quick, I pulled it all the way out and then I just stuck it as high as I could in the air. And then I started taking pictures like, you know, just snapping pictures all the way across mm -hmm. and then all the way back. So I'm thinking, oh, I hope when I get home, I'll be able to see him. Maybe I'll find him. Maybe I'll wear, you know, and 
because what I saw had auburn hair. It was, I mean, it was, you know, like a red looking color to it. And I get home and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, it's got to be here. It's got to be here. Well, I couldn't find it. But I did find something else. If you guys would like, I can share it if you like. Sure. sure. Absolutely. Okay. Give Absolutely. me one second and I will get that for you guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, As you're, I'll just read. Yeah. Um. Jean says no pictures are going to be agreed on because look, got it on film and there's still those that don't believe the Patterson film. She's and right. Ryan, yeah, Barbara says supposedly, oh, okay, supposedly one of the stories is a trail cam. Stacy Brown put it out, but I have heard it was a picture someone wanted, oh, wanted to be, remain anonymous and gave it to a friend to show. That already sounds sketchy. Yeah, that's right. It did come from Stacy Brown, but he was given it. Given it um, yeah, somebody gave it to him or something. Yeah, I think. yeah. Yeah, and he was, and he was like, "What do you, what do you all think about this?" <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, jeans. If you remember, respect goes a long way. Most of the time, you won't have a problem with them. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. I think. Are you talking about maybe Sasquatch? Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna share this. Okay. The only reason that these have red circles. Okay, is because I was using this for as, as a demonstration mm -hmm. on my show. Yeah. Now when I. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you guys the context, give you guys the context because this is how I shared it on my show. And whenever I show these photos, I give the context. When this whole thing happened and I had my sighting, my daughter-in-law was to my right. My son was to my left. We heard movement to the left. So I thought that he like went straight down and then moved to the left because we heard movement to the left. My daughter-in-law was to the right. So she sees me taking all these pictures. Well, so she started taking about, she's had her Canon, her Canon, her really her professional Canon with her that day. She started taking pictures over there on the, on to the right of me. She was about, I'd say 10 feet to my right. My son was about five feet to my left. When I got home, and I couldn't find what I was, what I saw, but I did see this other thing. So it was a series of five photos. There was nothing in photo one, something showed up in photo two and in photo three that were taken less than a second apart. I show my metadata also on my channel. I show my metadata. I don't show the location, but I show all of my metadata so that you see that they are two photos in succession. Mm -hmm. In the first photo, there was nothing. Photo number two, you see a side view. You see him kind of like, like as if he's looking to my son who was on my left. You see the side view. And then in photo three, you see a complete front view. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Photo four and five, gone. So, so what I'm about to show you are photos two and three side by side. You can see everything around this, whatever it is. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a Bigfoot, dog man, something else. I have no idea what it is, but you see movement. You can see and everything else around them um, in both photos are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Okay, should be ready for you to share. Can I do it? Let, let's see if I can make it a little bigger. Let's see. Is that a little better or did it get too blurry? Oh, it might be bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. Yes. There's that slight. Hmm movement yeah wow. now when i shared these on my channel oh my i shared the original photo that's never been altered yeah that's and i zoomed in so people could see like mm -hmm. on camera like on the show yeah. and wow. i showed you know the zoomed out like what the entire context mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I totally oh, that's believe cool. in that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it is because in the side view, to me, it looks similar to a patty type Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. But then the straight on photo, people like, you know, a lot of people think it's, you know, a dog man. So I don't, hmm. I don't know. The, but these two beings were not far from each other. They were only about 25, 30 feet away from each other, if that. Wow. I mean, I don't think, I don't, personally, I don't think dog man, but. That's just yeah, because I but feel like I'm seeing an, a you know like a nose, yeah, and then the br and right and then like mm -hmm. the brow line and but what does everybody think? That's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. I like the fact that you provide all the data for it and and mm -hmm. kind of show other evidence to go with it. Um, because peridoria does kick in a lot of times yeah. when even when you're out in the field. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, everybody has seen stump squatches. I don't know how many times I've seen them, <laughs> um, let alone the pictures. I mean, it, it can, mm -hmm. I could take a, a thousand pictures and have you 5,000 Bigfoots. <laughs> it's, it's, if you want right. to, you can circle anything, right? Right. But it does before and after pictures where there was right. something there and now it's not there, you mm -hmm. know, and everything's the same. Uh, Barb, you've had some of those. Same yeah, and, and then like in this, you can clearly see it's exactly the same, except that that thing has moved slightly. Yeah, and yeah. That's no, I'm not discrediting anybody's yeah. stuff that's out there. Oh, I, no. I just, yeah. that's, I, I'm, I agree well, with Marty on this. Yeah. I like to see more to it, though. Yes. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. You know what is is like sucks, and you know this, Marty. I mean, if you have this, because this is my, um, that's what I do. Uh, my method um, is I go and just take like picture, 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 picture. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it, it really sucks when you like get home. Um, you know, and it might be like. I don't know, like a week, a month later, and you're like, oh no. And then I can go out and try to, and like, oh no, I'm, I'm not even sure where exactly this spot is. But yeah. yeah but. <laughs> I mean, I'll show you. And a lot of people, one of the questions I always, uh, that I got upon sharing those photos, everybody was like, why didn't you go running in after? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. You and, I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, and I'm like, uh, so okay, let me see because you get that it. feeling not to right yeah. I, I mean, mean well here's here's the original i will show you i'm going to show you the uh let's see i'll do the full i'm going to do the the one that shows it like like full face okay so i'm going to show you guys the original that's never been ever doctored touch nothing mm -hmm. and that way you guys can see how dense it is in this area i well, mean yeah, that's the other thing is they really that's like the, and again yeah again areas, it's hard to get to them yeah i mean mine anyway that i see or that i think that wow yeah can you even see them i think i can see them yeah but it's that's but you see how dense it is and it's yep. just and then right behind that area right yeah. behind that area is probably it's all, it's just nothing but swamp and sawgrass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, but it's, it's thick. It's a very thick area. Is that like a hammock area? You back know, up to it? no, it's just, it's like on the back side of this area. It's just this, it looks like a huge feet. It looks like a wheat field, but it's all sawgrass. Yeah, sawgrass. So we're talking gators, we're talking pythons, we're yeah. talking, yeah. We're, you know, we're talking all that. So not for nothing, guys, uh, you know, no. I, mm -mm. I didn't have snake boots on that day. I wasn't going traipsing back through that, you know, mm -hmm. I, I just wasn't going to do it. I, when you see something like that, who... And I, think, I didn't see it, but I didn't even oh, see him. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, you, yeah, that's true. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was mm -hmm. the crazy part. I didn't see him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't see him until after none of us saw that until wow. I got home and saw it in my photo. Wow. You know, and then mm -hmm. about three months later, wow. I said to my sister, because it was driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. And I said to my daughter in law, can I look at your photos from that day? Yeah. And I found it, but I don't share it. <laughs> I don't share it. I've not shared it. I have. Well, I can't say I haven't shared it. 
there have been people uh gary gary has seen it um i think flat rock has seen it um just a handful of people have seen seen it yeah and it looks like that okay guys this is yeah it does it really this yeah. is what the real this is what i saw this is what it looked like <laughs> only auburn color <laughs> wow. wow but but the photo Ooh. photo i don't i don't i don't show it. I, don't. Mm -hmm. it I felt like i felt like that was for me in that moment i felt like it was for me and i keep it to myself mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. No. There's a lot of there's a lot of people. I, I mean, I, I would definitely think hard before sharing something. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Even here, is, I'm on a Bigfoot research team, and mm -hmm. we we've all talked about what we would do if we had something major. You know, uh, how yeah. would we approach it? Because mm -hmm. there's some repercussions to it. Yes, there Good are. Good and bad. Good and bad. Yeah. Good and yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah, it's it's um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty wild. So, so Grizzly, you you gonna come down to the Everglades and go Bigfoot and Grizz? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I'm good. Yeah. Now, dolls. <laughs> before before I forget, before I forget, I just wanted to. I, I I'm so happy that I'm here today yeah. on. Uh, here I am, August 2nd. Tomorrow is Grizzly's one year anniversary. Tomorrow on August 3rd. Ooh, I didn't know that. Wow. And I am lucky number 438th episode. Wow. Whoa. Awesome. And you know what? I want to know how you did that. Because. So. How did you actually, do 438 episodes in a year? So How many Red Bulls? How many Monster that. Drinks? So <laughs> he's, he's actually, an animal. Man, I actually deleted like, I think, 27 or 33 by mistake. Through oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, oh no. all you got to do to make room oh, is just hit this God. button. So, oh, okay. You know, I'm like, they're, they're 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 being deleted everywhere. They're like, no, they're not. I'm like, yes, they are. And they're like, no, oh they're not. Like, yes, they are. So, but yes. So absolutely. Well, congratulations and happy yeah. anniversary. Wow, Thank congrats. you. Yay. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, cool. We have a show together tomorrow, so. Yeah, wow. sure do. <laughs> Celebrate yeah. streamers and all that good stuff. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Jack messaged um, me, or did he message you too, Chris, that he's watching? Our new friend from Oregon. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, Jack. Oh, How you doing? Amazing audio. He had some crazy audio. <laughs> oh, and he's the guy that had that, like, oh, that yeah. audio. Howling, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's wicked. Yeah. Yes. That was crazy audio. <laughs> and honestly, you know, that was like um, when you said you saw that photo of you know of, of what you saw and you kind of get that like feeling like um it's kind of like you know it's like almost like like the like ooh, i don't know how to explain it you know yeah. it's like, like a, a revelation rush, like what yeah. the heck and when i heard because jack sent that to me and when i first heard it i was like you're oh like because i that is the first thing that i heard um as far as you know that was what else could that mean mm -hmm. even though when i was mm -hmm. hearing it i'm going through my mind i'm laying there going through my mind like you said like okay what kind of animal could this be blah 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 blah. you know all the animals all right. the animals and yeah but um anyway yes yeah, so then when i heard that i was like oh my gosh whoa so yeah yeah that was wild yeah insane yeah. audio it really is that is probably so the best audio i've heard yeah I mean, yeah just it sounded very the way he explains it too like the ground everything was shaking like i mean that's that's yeah. got to be intense i, I don't know yeah and what I do feel, you do you probably just freeze like what the hell is that you know I, what i mean because i have to say and i know and you guys know i've said this it, i literally could feel it like laying there in my sleeping bag and i'm like but i could feel it like in my chest that like the the vibration anyway you know but yeah mm -hmm. pretty crazy um so um Brian Barber says, what's the craziest experience you've had? Yeah. 
I, I guess the only time that I have had something that was, I, I don't want to say scary because it wasn't like terrifying, but it definitely was getting sketchy there for a little bit. Um, as Chris was asking me about this, this one area that we go to, we, I, we don't really take audio recorders. We don't really take, we don't do anything. We just basically, we just kind of hike in and we, and we just kind of chit chat and talk and kind of laugh and have fun and kind of just, and we'll kind of go right before dusk. So we'll go like, we'll, we'll hike out like an hour out and then an hour back and then we'll get back right at dusk. And then we just kind of hang out and we just kind of sit and wait. Now this one particular night, my 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 son had in, invited someone else to be there with us and <clears throat> this person showed up and decided they were without saying anything to us without asking without without nothing starts blasting the sierra sounds oh no from from his hummer and i'm like I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> um, don't think this is a good idea. And and I'm like, Matt, you need to tell him to stop. You need to, so Matt's like, dude, dude, stop. You know, and he's like, turn it off, turn it off. Because it was so loud. And so we just kind of sat there and they will come up. Like they, and usually what they'll do is like, they'll, they'll come up. You will hear them. Mm -hmm. You hear you hear them. They don't show themselves. And we don't go chasing and we don't go hunting. And we, we just sit there and let them experience us. And we experience them. And we just kind of hear them. And, and we just kind of like share the space mm -hmm. in a very respectful way. Well, this night, and I'm an empath and I'm an intuitive and all of a sudden it was like, I, I thought I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. My chest got so tight. I couldn't breathe. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I, at first I thought it was my own anxiety. And then I realized I'm going, Whoa, I said, Matt, they're here and they're not happy. They are really upset and they're super, super like anxious right now. I'm feeling all of this anxiety and I knew that it was from what it was from more than one. I knew that. I knew that. And all of a sudden we heard hit his Hummer, a ding, a hard ding. And I said, what was that? And Matt goes, something just hit his truck. And we're looking around. I mean, it's dark at this point. It just got, it. the sun just set. It's nice and dark now. Now they can see us. We can't see them. Mm -hmm. Yep. So mm -hmm. we're looking for this rock. We heard it hit, but we couldn't find it. So we kind of hung out. It's kind of stayed there. And the whole time I'm feeling all this anxiety. Rock number two comes. We hear it hit the windshield. So I, I shine my flashlight right on the windshield and you could see where the rock hit the windshield and there was dust. Like you could see like a spray of dust and it nicked his windshield and bounced off. Couldn't find it. Rock number three comes in and it's so weird. It ever so softly you could hear it hit the roof of my car soft. Oh. It was like, it was just like, uh, like, like, a little ding. Yeah. like it wasn't hard or anything just landed right perfectly in the center of the, the roof of my, my, my SUV. And I said, all right, I think it's time we go. It's, you know, rock three. Like I think we're, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of getting, Packing up. I don't think we were moving fast enough for them. So rock number four comes. Oh. Rock number four hits his Hummer. And I come around the back with my flashlight and I see it there in this. I see it right there in the sugar sand. And it's about this big. All oh. the other ones, the other ones seem to be maybe, you know, like that big, like not, not too big. This one, that big. Except this one 
has a perfectly clear, one clear hair. Oh, wow. So we bagged it and tagged it. Yeah. And I said, we have to go. So we're Matt's kind of like, we're bagging and photographing. And I'm like, guys, we got to go. Like, we need to go. We need to go. Like, I could feel like it. Would, I felt like wow. if I had ever really been afraid, like, I wasn't terrified, but I was like, I had this urgency. Like, we need to go. Mm -hmm. Finally, we get everything in the car. We're saying, we're, you know, saying goodbye to him. We're like, okay, we're going to leave. Got to go out this way, turn this way, blah, blah, blah. A rock about that <laughs> big. Oh boy. Comes flying in and it hits the sign. Like there's a, you know, like when you go into the areas down here, Chris, they have like those, the signs that'll tell mm -hmm. you, you know, and for trails, trailheads yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And it hit the sign and it was that big. Bing. Like, oh, you scared bing. the hell out of you. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> get in the car, Matt. <laughs> that made, that made like, some noise. I'm sure. And we left. Yeah. That was They're but, like, you want to make noises? We'll make noises. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like so you that, need to get out now. That would be scary. Yeah. Now, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, think about yeah. it takes hands to throw yes. a rock. Yeah. I can show Raccoons you. Raccoons don't throw them. Bears don't throw them. No. Snakes and alligators what don't throw them. A bear don't throw them. Bear <laughs> on cocaine does. Oh, maybe. <laughs> if, you got, if it's gotten and, into the beer crack. <laughs> and there are no polar bears here. So yes. I'll, or, or I'll show you. Or apes. Or <laughs> just show, just <laughs> cocaine <laughs> sharks now. I'll get the, I'll get the photo. Wow. I'll show That's, you guys the photo. Is that what? The hair? Yeah. On the rock. Because I showed it to you guys, right, Chris? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Did you have somebody look at the hair? No, Matt, it's still on the rock. It is still that we have not that hair. We've had the we've had other other hair uh analyzed. Um maybe we can get that hair and get Brian's poop and make me have it tested. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, Brian. And I was doing real good. Do you say who? Jack, once we started wood knocking and soon found ourselves being surrounded, yeah, by three, and they were talking their gibberish. Okay. This is why you don't wood knock. Yeah. <laughs> Usually a wood knock, I feel like it, it's kind of them. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're usually not happy about something. Like there's somebody in an area. Mm. It's almost like an alarm, like a squirrel tripping. Uh huh. Yeah. So there, it's totally translucent. Wow. Mm hmm. It's pretty wild. It's really yeah. wild. And what did Grizzly always say about Bigfoot hair, ladies and gentlemen? What did I always say? Mm hmm. Yep. He said, he said it's black. Yeah. Translucent. Yep. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Here we go. It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> Crack squatch again. Yeah. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, he says, I wonder about their hair being translucent, explaining some of the cloaking. I, I don't know how it gets stuck to the rock, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I think it was because the first, because the first two rocks we couldn't find. Mm -hmm. The third rock, the one that hit on the center of the roof of my car, it was wet. And it had been dry. You can see the ground that this rock is in. I mean, it's totally dry. Okay, let me back out just a little bit. Let me see so you guys can see. It's completely dry. It's there had been no, yeah, there had been no, no rain at all. So, again, it's just a theory. But we, were, Matt was thinking maybe they were keeping the smaller, maybe had the smaller ones in their mouth or something. Oh, maybe. And might have been, you know, so we're thinking that might be how it got stuck there, but it's, it literally just seems to be adhered to the rock. It's a, <laughs> I don't know, like it's, we didn't even try to take it off the rock. We just left it on the rock and it's mm -hmm. preserved in the state. So. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Or would there be a sticky sort of a substance? 
Yeah. On, you know, we haven't, we haven't had it tested. Now I will, I will say I will be next week, uh, next Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, is it Tuesday? Hold on. I got to look at my, I am so busy this week. It's crazy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So next Tuesday, this no Monday, wait, what is it? Monday. I'm sorry, guys. I have so many shows going on <laughs> Monday. Monday night, I'm going to have Robbie Rains from DAX Machina's mm -hmm. channel. He's going to come on and we're going to talk about adaptive camouflage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be showing some uh, hair that we found in Mayaka. And Chris has seen the video. What do you think, Chris? Um, Mayaka? Yeah. The hair it's... that I sent you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I... Yeah. So it, it shows like all the different colors, <laughs> you know. Brian, <laughs> Brian wants to know, did you put that in the freezer? Because that's where he puts all his good stuff. No. He's, he's a comedian, isn't he? No, no. 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 <laughs> no like, you know if the story to, behind if Brian. Do you know the yeah. story behind Brian? You do, right? I, I heard the, the story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I heard it. All right, but, but no, we just don't, don't tell his wife. It's a secret. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brian, I promise you, I will not tell your wife. It, I, it, well, I can't tell a lie. So, like, if she asks me <laughs> outright, if I know for a fact that there's squatch stuff in your freezer, I'm gonna have to rat you out. But I mean, <laughs> it'll be all in love, though, love and light. <laughs> But uh, no, no, we have everything, you know, like <laughs> hairs, you always like certain things you you, you got to source, you know, if you, you, if you put them in like plastic or in zipper bag, uh, uh, you know, like storage bags, plastic mm -hmm. bags, it can degrade the samples really fast because moisture, it holds moisture and, and that things can correct. get moldy and mildew, especially here in Florida. Mm -hmm. And so paper, you want to put things in paper, like in a paper envelope or a paper bag that that's. The better Any way to DNA it. evidence is paper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Paper. Okay. Yeah. Blood, no. semen, saliva, all that stuff. Hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So we were, you know, I'm going to be showing this, this, uh, the, these, this hair sample. Um, Tim T actually, he had, you know, analyzed it for us. We've got some really good so you can actually see the difference between the hair that we found the difference between that and human hair you can see all the different colors you like literally the sample that we got has everything it has black it has brown it has red it has strawberry blonde it has clear it has some that look green some that actually go all the colors you know, it's it's pretty amazing. Some of them, it looks like we've got some some roots. We even have another sample that looks like it could possibly be have DNA, a piece of, you know, I don't know, skin. Follicle. Yeah. Well, I have. I will show you one. So check this. Out. I'll show you. I'll show you some. Does that have the scales? <laughs> so they look kind of scaly too. Like compared a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let me. <laughs> I'm showing all my cards tonight. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Rebecca, come on. Frozen fudge sickles. Brian, are you talking about our show? Will this be on you Facebook or YouTube live when you air this? I mean this show or our or the show that the one yeah. she's talking about. Both of them are gonna be. Or your show. My yeah, my show is I only do, yeah, I'm only on YouTube. Okay. And it'll be live. So is that what yeah, okay. yeah, it'll be live. It'll be, you know, they, people can see it, you know, later yeah. and rerun though. So this is an interesting sample. And, and one, and, and because when you look at this, there's a hair literally going straight through whatever this is, Whoa. this matter is. It looks yeah. like you have different hair samples. It's, wow. it was all together clumped up. That's cool. Like it was all together. And I'm going to, I'll talk on my show about where we found it, how we found it, how we collected it, how it, where it came from. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be going through all of that, but yeah. 
there's there's that's amazing um, and your channel also, is on the nona boss is that what yeah like? the not yeah it's yeah, just nona boss okay yeah the nona where's, boss. Your, where's your where's your system there he is <laughs> i knew he'd come through for you let's see this now this was also also in the sample um we were not quite sure what kind of organic matter this possibly could be we're not sure um, but it was on some of the hairs in the sample. Um, how, did, how did you get the samples? I'll talk about that on my show. <laughs> ah, cliffhanger. I like it. <laughs> cliffhanger. Oh, look at that. So it definitely has some, some sort of like oh. something, you know, kind of organic matter growing on it of some mm -hmm. sort. But you can also see... And you can also see in the sample, there's like a strawberry kind of blondish looking one and then a red looking one. Mm, wow. So they're, they're, I, it's a, they're interesting. Yes. I wonder if there's like so many clear to so many colors per square inch. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Hey Rains there, Marie. Color to clear strands of hair mm -hmm. to where it yeah. can blend. Mm-hmm. Probably once you layer them, they probably but it, you know, yeah. it just makes sense when people talk about they see them and then they see them just step back and like they just disappear, right? Like they just disappear well, into the nothing. photographs you had, it looked like it mirrored the background. Yes, mm -hmm. very cool green looking. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, mm -hmm. I get that like, too. Like yeah. a, like an octopus or squid does you know, right. on, the, on the ocean floor. It can just mimic the back. It'll take on the color. Yeah. yeah. Like mm. there's, it's just really strange stuff. Like you're, you know, it just leaves you going, okay, I thought I got some answers, but no, now I just have more questions, you know? So what do you think they are? The age old question, right? I, you know... I think that they are physical, a hundred percent physical. I think that they're, you know, physical, <laughs> but I think that they have, I think they, I think that they do possess abilities, um, much like we can, much like we, you know, I mean, a lot of people can read each other's minds, right? You can. Mm -hmm. Right. We can be, be, people can do that. Like you could be. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, I had plenty of times where I'm like, felt like somebody was staring at me and I turn around and sure enough, somebody's staring at me. Yeah, I think we all feel that at mm -hmm. one time or another in our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. I think that we just some, some of us are so busy. We don't we don't stop to think about some of the abilities that we probably have. You know how some people say, man my mom could always tell the guy I was dating if he was good or bad. She always knew she was always right. She was always right. And everybody, Oh, she's got good intuition or it's the Holy spirit. It's this, it's that it could be any number of these things. Cause I'm not, I tell my dog, my dog can do it. Let alone. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have it. You know, they have that a intuition. Lot people, exactly. A lot of people can just, you know, and I, and I think they're the same way. I think that they can convey to us without using words exactly what they're thinking and feeling. You can, mm -hmm. by just an expression, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell if somebody's mad, somebody's sad, somebody's upset, somebody's going through something right now. Yep. So, you know, I just think that, do they have other abilities? Maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. I mean, Good I've had weird things happen, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Good chance of it. I, yeah. I, I don't see there isn't a way around that really, but yeah. what is it? What are the abilities? We don't know. Right. One of the things we got to find out. That's true. That's why we keep searching, right? It's like, yeah. one, it's the world. To me, it's one of the world's greatest mysteries. Yes. Have yeah. you had any experience with, um, with other cryptids? You know, I mean, as far as that you like, maybe heard or saw or abducted by aliens <laughs> oh yeah, that, yeah 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 <laughs> 
aliens <laughs> yes i've had missing okay. time i've had okay. yeah i've mm-hmm. had all kinds of weird since i was a child okay you know? mm-hmm. so that 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 to me is i don't know i don't it it just is a part of my life kind mm-hmm. of thing like ghosts mm-hmm. and spirits and that is just a part of my it's been a bit a part of my daily for mm-hmm. practically my entire life so yeah they don't can i ask you a question sure do you have ghosts and spirits at home actually no the only thing that i have in my house is i have this doll show your doll because we got a lot of fans of of, uh, grizzlies dolls on have the doll on okay (laughs) i know if i do gene hudson's gonna leave oh Um, gene Gene. close your eyes gene close your eyes we'll tell you when it's over don't look, don't, Jean. don't look, Jean. Don't look, Jean. She doesn't don't like her. She doesn't like her, but I'm telling you, this is this is her. She, I have not had any problems, and I've actually, I've had three psychics kind of say she's all good, like no issues. They didn't, you know. So I don't, I don't know. She doesn't give me any problems. Right. You nothing. can put her away now. So Jean doesn't have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jean, come on. I put her away. Um, you, you don't want, you don't want to see doll of the Grizzlies the collection. It's pretty. The I, had, right now. <laughs> I, did, I did have, I did have something follow me home from Mayaka. And the funny, here's the funny thing. I'm because I was so new to my abilities. I wasn't able to sense them. I didn't know they were here. Have you had somebody recently? Have you had recently somebody that passed? Have I what? Had recently somebody passed? Me? Yes. No. Okay. No. No. But the my dog every single night. She's a little Chihuahua, but she would literally, instead of sleeping next to me, she kept wanting to get on top of me and like be hanging over me looking at kind of like her head off the side like looking at the side at the floor and i'm like what and she would just sit there she wouldn't growl she didn't bark she didn't moan nothing but she would just sit there and she would not get off of me i'd put her down i'd be like stop it stop it it." and she would just do it all night long and this went on for three weeks and i said something's off I don't know what I can't because I wasn't sensing anything. And long story short, um, I talked to, you know, two different people that I know. Um, Chris, I think, you know, Phyllis. Mm-hmm. And it was Phyllis. She's, Phyllis she's, who she's helped something. me out. And she's like, well, it, you've got a Native American and he saw you and you were shiny and you were... <laughs> You were this beacon of light, and he, she's like, he doesn't mean you any harm. He's, she's like, he just wants to be around your energy. He just wants to be with where you are. Mm-hmm. Well, that was all well and good, but it was freaking my dog out. <laughs> yeah. So um, I talked to another friend of mine who's a psychic, and she just said, is there anything in the house? She goes, I, she goes, I want to see it's an arrowhead. He's attached himself to something. Do you have an arrowhead? just so happened it was this is so crazy i had went and we had taken the kids uh, the grandkids we all went to this place where you could like sift through th- like you know things and find little like stones and whatever and mm-hmm. some arrowheads i had an arrowhead in my nightstand oh, wow wow so he so was, was was that in my state park you got it I get not the arrowhead, but that's where I got my Native American though. No. <laughs> that's where he came from. <laughs> no. Isn't that well? Yeah. Yeah. So she so she said to me, she said, try to cross him over. Try to cross him over. And if he doesn't want to cross over, she said, told me what to do to move him outside. So that's what I did. So I moved him outside. So he's He's still here though. He's still here. I feel it. I, it's funny because after when I tr- when I tried to to move him on, 
I instantly knew, like I picked him, I picked up on him. I picked up on his energy and I, it was kind of like I was sharing with them. It was, you know, I got information, whatever. Anyways, so I know he's still there. So, but I just moved him outside. He hangs out. I have a big, gigantic, beautiful tree out back and he's, he's right there. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So no dog man? No dog man. You don't well, have, I bet you don't want to see one never, I've never seen a dog man. I, I will say there was one time I felt an energy that I was not sure what it was. It was very new to me. It wasn't Sasquatch. It wasn't a spirit. It wasn't anything living. Um, and when I say living, I mean like people or and it happened during a live Matt and I were out in the Everglades and we were doing a live, but I didn't say, I just, I, I just said to Matt like two or three times, I'm like, something is back there. I'm hearing something moving back there. I'm hearing something. And it was like, I was trying to connect and I, I'd never felt this energy before. I have no clue what it was. I don't, I didn't see it. So I don't know what it was. But I don't know. I, I just, it wasn't a spirit. It wasn't like a demon. It wasn't a negative entity. It wasn't, it was physical. It was definitely physical, but I don't know what it was. It was not a Sasquatch. I can tell you that because their energy, I can, their energy is very different. It's, it's a very, Jean can tell you. <laughs> Their energy is definitely different. It's nothing like you. It's not like feeling the energy of another human being. It's very different. It's actually very calming. It's very soothing. It's very, you know, um, I don't know any other way to put it. Soothing, calming. It's yeah. Yeah. Unless you piss one off. Huh? <laughs> so unless you piss one off. <laughs> True, because that's when I, because that's that's when I get like that tightness in my chest, and I start feeling like that. Because I was in an area with uh, Jessica Jones, uh, Matt, and I went uh, to North Georgia for her with her. And that night there were three three Sasquatch, and that night that dude there were, it was like the one that was in charge. And then the other two were like, I don't want to say soldiers, not soldiers, but they were like doing what he said. Right. But that guy was like, who the heck are you? And what are you? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know you never seen you before. And what, who are you? And what are you doing here? Like, it was like an interrogation. It's like, <laughs> and I'm like, you're encroaching on territory. Yeah. I'm Which like, is fair, you know, fair. Yeah, you know, totally fair. It's yeah. his mountain. It is his mountain. Like it yeah. was he was in charge that of that mountain. Like that was his mountain. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very like matter of fact, straight to the point. Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. And I was like, look, we're here, you know, we mean no disrespect. We're just, we're just here for higher learning. We just want to learn about you, learn about the area. We had no idea you were here and I'm just kind of having this conversation. And then it was kind of like, as soon as I start like having this conversation with them, he started, they started calming down. He started calming down. It was like, everything was doing well. And then this other energy just, mm -hmm. Cause we were kind of sitting in a triangle okay. and it's almost it like this energy just kind of whooshed in and, it, and, it, and when I say it just kind of like zoomed in and it kind of like came around Jessica and in between her and I, and just stood there, couldn't see anything. I could, there was nothing physical I could see with my eyes, mm -hmm. but I felt it right there. Mm -hmm. And it was strange because now this energy was a, which is, it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was neutral, which to me, I don't like neutral. <laughs> because. You, you go either way. That's right. I don't like neutral. Gotcha. Um, 
And then right as that happened, this big, we could hear this huge wall of rain coming straight for us. Oh, wow. So we were like, okay, we got to get off this mountain and that amount of water, we got to be careful and get trying to get down this mountain. So that was that. And, and then right after that, that's when we had missing time. Like that night was wild. Wow. Oh. So all We're, three of you, did all three of you have the, have the missing? Wow. Yeah. Mm. It took us 40 minutes to get to the top of this mountain. And the wall of rain came. We jumped in the car. We threw our, our chairs in the, in, the, in, the, in the SUV. We jumped in. We started down. As we came around, it was like a mountain road, mm -hmm. one single little lane. And as we came around this corner and the headlights shone around the corner, we, Matt and I, Jessica was in the back, Matt and I see this huge shadow and it wasn't like a shadow it was like a shadow person or a, like shadow, a shadow figure in. huh like a shadow figure yeah but it was huge okay like gigantic like like mm. like not like bigger than a sasquatch like okay. like huge all right and then i'm i literally was like what the, the like I was screaming. I was like, what was that? And Matt goes, I don't know. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm driving and I'm like, and Matt goes, it's okay, it's okay. We're down, we're down, we're down. And I'm like, wait a minute. I, what do you, I'm like, what do you mean we're down, we're down? And he goes, no, we're off the mountain, we're off the mountain. Look, look, there's the road. Oh my gosh. Wow. And I immediately said, it, that isn't possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we've only been gone 10 minutes. Wow. It took us 40 minutes to get to the top of this mountain. How did we get down the mountain in 10 minutes? That wow. big shadow picked your car up and set it down there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. It, it was weird. Long. And so we had about 20 minutes of, of missing time. Wow. Did you drive, like when you saw this big thing, did you drive, into it or did it come at you you do you know what i mean it just stood there it was like it just was it was right there at the tree line like right it's kind of crazy like the road was very kind of like what was windy up mm -hmm. like this up the mountain right mm -hmm. so sometimes when i would go this way there the cliff would be on this side then i'd come around on the other side and the cliff would be on this side of the road right Okay. So it was like as I came around the corner, that's the that's where the cliff drop drop off was. But there was like a tiny little like gully, like a little like a little bitty little nook there. Yeah. So and you and I we could see, but we saw it from like I would say it's waist up, but it was like it was like a Lou Ferrigno, you know, like I mean huge whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But a human shape, mm -hmm. and Matt and I saw it at this. I mean, I just, I just was started screaming, and I'm going, mm -hmm. screaming, and I'm going, "Well, what is that?" And Matt's like, "I don't know." Oh, like we had this major <laughs> moment of panic. Wow. So Jessica didn't see it. Oh. In this major moment of panic, and then, and then I'm just like practically hyperventilating, and then he's going, "Oh, it's okay. We're down." I'm like, "Down where? What are you talking about? Down, down." And he's like, yeah, we're off the mountain. Look, look, there's the road. I'm like, what? It's not um, somebody, Marty, somebody in the chat, uh, Anthony said, uh, sounds like to me a water sprite. Sound like you found a doorway in the forest. Shadow person you saw, uh, he likes to call him watcher of gates. You know, I was thinking about that too. Did you go into some like, you know, time, like wormhole? Yeah. Yeah. The sort of like the airplane in the Bermuda Triangle with electric. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Brian had asked uh, earlier, so when you say that you have abilities, are you talking about, if you don't mind sharing, are you talking about psychic or empath or medium? Um, yes, all, yes, all? yes. Okay, okay, yeah. But but I don't, it, it's kind of weird, like I don't, it doesn't, it just comes, in, it, it's mm -hmm. not like I can do it on command. I can't okay. do anything on command. Yeah, it just, it just comes. It'll, It'll just happen. happen. Mm -hmm. It'll just, mm -hmm. I'll just know something. Mm -hmm. or I'll feel it or, yeah. you know, like it just yeah. kind of happens. Um, mm -hmm. 
I channel, there are, you know, things will, you know, channel, come channel through me and, mm -hmm. and it, mind speak. Huh? Mind speak. Yes. I mind speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get pictures. Yes. I get pictures, thoughts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really, that's really interesting about the, about yeah. that you know, missing time. Huh? Yeah. Does that compare to anything that you've had with, um, you know, with aliens? Okay. Yeah. So do you think it could have been from something like that maybe, or? I, I do. I think that, I think that on that mountain, there's a lot of things there. I think that there's way more than Sasquatch there. What, what all is there? I don't know, but I felt and the reason I say that that energy felt like neutral to me is because I felt almost as if it was like maybe an elemental, like mm. what he's talking about, like a white, mm -hmm. it, and why <laughs> in, elementals are neutral mm -hmm. in, in, in that sense. You know what I mean? Like they're there yeah. to do a job. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are here, here on the planet to mm -hmm. their, to do jobs, right? Like an earth elemental is to heal the earth and, and protect you know, the earth. It's, yeah, to, to tend to the earth and care for the earth and nurture the earth. And, you know, like that's what their job is. So whatever it was that came through, I think it was, but I still, again, it's like, I don't trust that neutral thing. <laughs> you know? I, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't give me um, a feeling of that I could trust it. Yes. That it makes, makes sense though. It makes yeah. sense. I have Something a friend here that's like really, she's like, you know, I call her like almost an expert, I guess, if you will, you know, on elementals. And um, I talk to her a lot about, about them because I'm, I'm learning about them. And um, she said, um, base energy beings are tied to element uh, elements. Let me see what she was saying about, um, they're usually harmless if left alone to do their basic elemental things. However, they can by, can be used by other beings um, mm. to do nefarious things things um, hmm. and then you can also have someone that will merge with an elemental and they can possess serious havoc yeah or, or be used to protect or defend and so it can yeah so that's where it can yeah, good night can thomas good night yeah it can get scared it can get uh, out of control i guess you know mm -hmm. yeah wow interesting gosh yeah yeah i've i've i've, I've had all kinds of crazy weird things happen <laughs> strange weird things oh that's awesome though yeah just oh, kind of wow. used to it you know yeah like I'm, used, I'm used to the weirdness you know i'm mm -hmm. used to it like yeah i think you know it's it's um i don't know about like with men but it seems like so many of us women that's that are involved in this in this field that's the same way because i i definitely have mm -hmm. always thought you know i was kind of a weirdo and and i've always been into all of the all of the above um, just more sensitive that's all to certain yeah. things, you know, yeah. pick up on things. I think that sometimes women are just more, um, I think that we are easily, um, wait, how do I say this? I don't want to say easily. We are more apt to embrace like abilities or embrace that we have something different or that we, can feel this or feel that or tell this or, you know, like, I feel like I don't think as many men, unless it's in their face, like, yeah, I just saw a ghost and it was right. right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yep. that kind of an ability. Mm -hmm. Cause there's a lot of men that I come across. Oh yeah. Have abilities. They have abilities. Cause they'll, they'll, Grizzly. <laughs> Yeah, it's you and things that the yeah, that we, know. And, and you just know, you know, okay, that person yeah. has abilities. You just, you know, yeah, yeah, Gary, guys don't want to sense it. listen to things they don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Gary. I love you. <laughs> yep, it's called selective hearing, Gary. <laughs> there, that's right. That's right. That's right, Chris. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
maybe more dim yeah <laughs> I've, been, I've been blamed for it a couple of times i know <laughs> it, ha it happens to all of us well yeah. but it's yeah. some more than others but i don't know yeah. if that's just a, that's definitely not just a male thing either because i definitely have been <laughs> i can definitely do the selective hearing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. yeah i think so, you're uh, right. Wait, what's your, uh, I know Gary sent it out, but tell us about where we can find you and where your shows are, what nights your shows are, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I, you're on I, all the time. I don't know. <laughs> are you like Grizzly know, on right? every day? <laughs> I know. This week is, this week's out of, out of the ordinary actually. But, um, but this week I've got, I, I'm trying, I've kind of just been trying to get, get through. I wanted, I wanted to book a whole bunch of people. So instead of making them, do, wait, like, do one show a week. I've been actually trying to do. I'll be. I've scheduled several shows, so it's. Sun, I'm coming on like Sunday afternoons, Monday nights, and Tuesday nights. So I'm booked. You know. Yeah. For the next, so it's three nights a week for the next couple of months. Okay. So. And what do you cover? Like yeah. what everything. Everything, everything. 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 Whatever. Everything. UFOs. And if, I mean, I'm Sunday show. I have uh, Mark Fiorentino coming on. We're going to talk about Einstein's um, unified field theory. Yeah, tune in for that. That's going to be a very geeky, fun show. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I just got. I have. I just. I like to. I you know, I've done a show with Alex uh, Petikoff. We, we talked almost the entire show about drones. I wanted to know about drones. You know, I've had Robbie Rains on talking about tracking. Cause I, 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 tr I, w I like to do a lot of like fun stuff, but like real, I like meat and potatoes and giving people some really, like really good information. Like the show when I had on you guys, you know, Chris, mm -hmm. like the team, it was, you know, it was great. I loved it so much because people got an opportunity to really see what it's like to research in Florida. Yes. People don't I get to, to say see that. It. Yep. Yeah. Because as, as you know, as much as I know, Chris, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we, we talk how many times like almost daily and I didn't, I wasn't aware of all the challenges that, that mm -hmm. they faced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's always fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Getting you know, still it's not, you know, <laughs> Being chased by blood. gators and whatever. It's, yeah. it's always <laughs> something that goes on out there. It's, without, it's never a boring moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I have Chris coming on next week. He's going to come on and we're going to talk about trigger warning, everybody. We're going to talk about pareidolia. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some other fun subjects too we'll see where it goes yeah. well we're going to talk yeah. about i mean look i because pareidolia is a real thing and oh, i sure. don't think a lot of people understand how our brain works and why we see the pareidolia and <laughs> so we're going to talk about that we're going to get into it like we're going to get into what it is how our brain works and show some example photos and we're going we're going to talk about how to show evidence and and, and how to share evidence, how to vet your evidence. If you have something that you're not sure about, some ways that you can try to vet your evidence, you know? So um, we're gonna talk about practical stuff, you know? Not, we're not, it's not a show about calling people out. It is not about that. It's no. not a- not Understanding a that it exists and paradoia yes. is a real thing. Yeah. We're, we're all guilty of doing it. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's, not it, guilty. it's not even, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's subconscious, but you can't mm -hmm. even, even really just the way that it is. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Whether it's, whether it's cryptids or paranormal or, you know, mm -hmm. those, everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to get into the science of it. Cool. Yeah. That's, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Gotta check that out. Yes. It'll be fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be fun. There's always something to learn from each other. I mean, what, Chris, you had a suggestion the other day. I can't remember what it was, but putting flour down oh, yeah. or something to yeah. like There's catch your crate with the chicken on top of the shed. Yes. Yeah. So oh, yeah. you can th throw if you're gonna if you're gonna, which we don't really suggest because Brian's situation that he had 
of, of doing, you know, treats or anything like that, but throw some powder down, throw some flour down and see if you can get, get a footprint. I thought that was a cool idea. It's just something yeah. I'm not, you don't want to do everywhere. Crazy. obviously. Well, you know what? I, I know this sounds crazy, but I had suggested it to somebody, but I don't know if they ever did it. I suggested instead of like flour or baby powder, I suggested powdered sugar. Mm. Except a lot of ants. Yeah, yeah. I say that, that would be <laughs> yeah. Don't do it by your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, don't yeah. do it by your house. And if it rains, just know it's gonna go bye bye. Yeah. Right. Yeah, four but, minutes rains every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once a day, <laughs> never stop. Yeah, but that is that is that's like yeah. that's a that was a good idea. That was cool. Just something you get like yeah. thinking outside the box. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. That that comes from his police background, I think, on that one. Yeah. 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 The collecting DNA is very important. I always use paper. You know, especially on hair, mm -hmm. fecal matter, blood, and all that stuff. It's very, very important. So yes, and I, I did a show that. on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did a show on that three or four months ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, because it deteriorates it very quickly. Yeah. yeah. And I got a uh, hair collection kit that actually Tim yeah. too had been made for us. Um, we got it at the the Bigfoot party. We have a Bigfoot party every Christmas. And uh, I know he, I've he never made, been he, invited. Do you know I've never been invited? Oh, you're invited this year. How's that? <laughs> I'm inviting you. <laughs> so, anyways, um, he, he he made he made some. And we, I keep it in my backpack, but it's got plastic bags. So now I'm going to think about that and get some little paper bags and have them handy. Yeah, <laughs> you can throw it over with those little plastic baggies. That cop's going to be like, yeah, so what are you selling here? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got Bigfoot investigation kit written right on it. So there you Yeah, go. Bigfoot crack. There we <laughs> go. There's, no, there's no deer crack in it. Tell it to the judge. <laughs> yeah, tell it to the judge. That's what I used to say. Tell it to the judge. <laughs> tell it to the it's judge. not mine. It's Bigfoot's. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> not my pants, I swear. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my friend told me to hold this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking my, for a my friend. My big hairy friend. I'm asking for a so. friend. But well, we greatly appreciate you coming on the show. Thank yes. you very much. Yep. You're you're welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome very anytime. Much. Anytime. Yeah, the definitely. door's always open. So yeah. All right. Thank you, Marty. Thank you so much. And have a good Thank evening. Thanks. You guys care. too. All right. Night. Bye. Night. 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 Night, everybody. Good night. Wow. wow, that was great. Thanks, Chris. Look, so Chris much. is big. Oh, hey. It's the Chris hey, show. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Wow, man. What an awesome guest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That, that was great. perfect. Wow. So, yeah. So, uh, what we got for next week? Oh, Tim, I, I, he, says he has paper envelopes for the hairs. Maybe no. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I don't know. Next I didn't bust up my kit. So. Russell's going to join us next week. For Next week, as a, Russell yeah. Easterbrook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Russell in the house. When's yeah. Russell coming on? When's Russell coming on? So, yeah, so he's coming, um, and he's going to do a little segment, and then he's just going to sit in with us, like, and he wants to do our, you know, our thing with our reporting and various. So, yeah, so it's going to be. Well, great. he's working on his book, so that ought to be an yep. interesting show. I can't yep. wait for that one. Tomorrow so, night. Um, yeah. 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 So that was great. very interesting. I, I yep. love the hair clamp. The, 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 yes. the clamp. So my mm -hmm. question is, is nice. it so many clear to so many color per square inch per square centimeters? You know? Yeah. So interesting. Good question. Yeah. Because it's also it's it. clear, right? It's just that some of it has... Like, I well, mean, that you know, one that one clump it had color to it, but that yeah. one strand was mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. So we do know Bigfoot is oily because the fingerprints that it leaves yeah. on windshields and stuff is so very greasy. Right. So who knows how that hair was attached to the rock? But yeah, yeah. No. yeah. that's interesting. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you definitely see some colors there, and I didn't know that they they create that many different shines or sheens to it. So it's almost yeah. like it's clear with different sheen. <clears throat> yes, 
Yeah, it would be, I yes. think you're right. If you if it gets layered in multiple, obviously, in layers of hair, it probably has more potential to change even more. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. Very cool. It is. Uh, there was a cool uh, footprint on your page I saw earlier. It was about, uh, did you see that, Chris? It was like somebody, a woman had, it was like a big, a big footprint um, and it was on concrete. I think, yeah, I think. it looked like concrete or something like yeah. that. I mean, it could be, it could be. Yeah, it looked totally cool. interesting, you know, because um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I'd said it, maybe it's. Well, I love when people post them there because they're always posting whatever they find and it's cool. You never know what you see. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't some know. cool stuff on there. But it was, For it sure. was big and it looked anatomically, I guess, you know, it looked. Yeah. But I'm she's got the evidence. We got somebody's got it in the freezer still. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Oh. Well, Brian's oh, coming on our show, too, for yeah. one of the shows. Yep. He's coming on. Yes, he is. Uh, Are y'all going to be able to keep a straight face? No. Yes. <laughs> she, she, she's already, already laughing. She said, yes. No. She's already Brian, laughing. Brian, you know, it's okay, right, Brian? It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm answering oh, for him. Lord. See, L M A O. <laughs> it's okay with Brian because he was like, "How does everybody know about my my poo?" <laughs> oh, Brian! We, we, we picked up on that one in a hurry. Yeah, as soon as he said that, I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian. He's got what in the freezer? Yep. He sent me a picture of it. So, he sent a picture of it. Not the actual what? poo. <laughs> Just uh, the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> no, what? Yeah, yeah, I was hoping. There, there. Thank you, Brian. I was glad it wasn't a picture of actual. He probably would get it out and take a picture and send it to us. <laughs> Man, we'll probably get a hit like a million hits off that. Hey, the, the, um, the, the community that I, you guys know, this rural community that I live in, you wouldn't believe how many people post on our local pages like, does anybody know what type of poop this is? What type of scat? It's not uncommon to see pictures of poop. Chris, what is this? You know what we ought to do. We ought to get us some Schlitz beer one weekend and go to Barb's Peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> Schlitz it's probably pretty wild out there. We Why do you would have, have, to have all here? Of, We would have 60 minutes out there. We would have finding <laughs> Bigfoot out there. We have an expedition. Oh, yeah. hey, we, we, <laughs> yeah. would have a, we would have Brian out there for the uh, Kroger socks. <laughs> so. <laughs> then we could go down and see Jack at Oregon, and then we could really get the goods. <laughs> no, I couldn't be out there all that. Who oh, oh. <laughs> I know, they were I doing? Know. No, I'm good. I'm good, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's no. a little bit too much. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen. From coast to coast, around the world, that's the way. Thanks, everybody. Take Good care, night. ladies and gentlemen. Night. Rock Good it night. on. Good night. Good night. That's right. All right. God bless and take care. We'll see you. Good night, guys. I can't believe it. In the freezer. <laughs>
It's a grizzly. Are you sure it's not a chipmunk? <laughs> That's ah, it. I got here. <laughs> it's a grizzly. Ah, I'm out of here. Huh? Maybe it is a chipmunk. It's a grizzly. Oh, f it. Are we gonna die? I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and listen and watch. Let's get out of here, maybe. <laughs> Fall! <laughs> <laughs>